Morning, sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. Go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh... By the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey! Ah, oh, man, I lost a bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? Not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that and we'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas, so you better save me a big one. <laughs> a big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho? Eugene Cho. Isazaki Eugene Cho. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? <sighs> Yokohama? Why am I in Yokohama? <sighs> Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. And I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. You're tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. And where there are cops, there are questions. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're
were squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen, I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> do you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. It's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. You don't want that, we don't want that. Get out of here. Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way, and you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well... Can't argue with you there. So, where do we start? Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, you gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... <sighs> That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um... Uh, sorry about that, Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N-A-N-B-A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, I just remembered you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. The chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off, make some money, and prove you really want to be here. Got it? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. This is what you do for money? 
Kind of lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found a 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh, yeah. It's my lucky day. up just to have them crushed all right now it's your turn go check underneath the other vending machines trash cans too sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell i'm on it cool i'm gonna head back to camp come find me when you're done but don't wander far there are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town all right then good luck rookie to go I tried but this was all I found hey chief this is the guy I was telling you about and what do you want boy my name's Ichiban my situation's kind of I'm sure it's fascinating Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you, I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently. Actually, I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Your patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. Must have felt horrible. 
Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Sure. <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijin Cho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Uh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. Okay, I get it, I get it. I'll be there. What's up? Huh? Yes. Been a while since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too, so you won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin? You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Nope, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. You'll find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot.
Ah, uh, here we go. Is that? Hell yeah! Lucky whole ass on this thing. Well, hope I don't crash and eat shit though. Oh look, more cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans too. Guess I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, you get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. Gotta bust your butt to earn your bread. Sheesh. Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul. But what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Here comes the can, man. That's money. the mark. A new record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already. Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points then. Eco points? Yeah, what you get for turning in cans. Brilliant idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. A 
That's quite a system we got there. Well, fiat currency is complicated. You gotta factor in tax rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? People like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middleman. Huh. To be honest, I prefer regular money. Hey now, you collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, I've been taking out my lecture fee. Here's what's left. Swapping your eco coins for commodities rather than money it goes far that way. Got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Consot. I guess I'll see you later. to go. I work my ass off, but my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you, but I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Red rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain-ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside world. Well, here. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit, the collectors are here! Earlier than usual. Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, the money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me, I wanna punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? A Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. You'll end up dead. <laughs> Mafia my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But... 
Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. Then I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Nampachan. As business. Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? Oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. <laughs> Stop! Don't open it! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, Namba. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Namba-san. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass! Come on, Namba! This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> All right. Let's do this! Bring it on! Come on now! Check this out! Okay. Fun with this. Watch this. I got this. Come on now. Yeah. Cut that stuff. Let's go. You're done. You're in it now! You're weak! Now I'm pissed! 
The hell's your problem? For fuck's sake! Someone's gonna pay! Now I'm pissed! Good to go. Let's Ready. go! You're fucking weak! What was that? Yeah. You're going down! Check this out! It's okay. Have fun with this. Watch this. You're done. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Oh yeah. in the Yokohama Liomang? You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'd give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama! Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously, when should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your panty ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even Liu Mang turf. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? So not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is... I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would ya? That was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> 
You pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. Ah, I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. Ugh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? The girl in the red shoes left with foreigners on a steamship from Yokohama. Never to be seen again. So here we go. The Jenga was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Yumong. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, Gomiju. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu Clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? You kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ijin Show? Yeah, the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ijin Three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a Cold War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, a Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Ejin Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. 
I don't know how long I can just hang around in Eugene show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 Oh my God. What the hell is that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. What's that? Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Uh, did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, hey! Uh, Calm uh, down. Hey, hey, look! I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day! You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually... I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you Kichi Chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank! But I think it's just stupid play money! Wait, hold on. <sighs> hmm. well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? Oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spent it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait, wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse <laughs> to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing, throw it away, and stop causing trouble! You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, not my son. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy, I won't start any more trouble. We good? shouldn't stay here. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? 
I mean, there's got to be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just got to be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, then let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no! But you're all perfectly healthy! I've seen some of you build shit! I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it! Come on! You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you- Shut the fuck up! Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah. You said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on. You still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? Ugh. And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living, man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? It doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So... I'll come with you to hello work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. You've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. What's he got in front of him? A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him sometime.
Think there'd be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm telling you, you are ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> Matsuo-san. I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center, then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But, wait. I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am! I'll work really hard! I'm sorry. That's our policy, sir. Next, please! Wait, hold on a minute. I need to... Hey, out of the way! So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Ah, uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive, like fishing. Don't get salty yet. You can figure this out. Hey, either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? 
Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. Not a loser. Cool. Come on now. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? This is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly, it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. They really getting customers like that? Hmm. I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long. natural resource let me assure you we're doing everything we can to stop him something happened over there the river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate I highly doubt it'll be changing colors ma'am either way you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere <laughs> So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me.
Hm? Yeah. Last time I caught a bug was back when I was a kid. Never know when you might need a... Go. Uh. 
Now come along quietly, and zip it up, man. Be decent. Well done, Kasuga-san. You've done a fine thing. I try. But why are you so dead set on urinating in there? Haven't you ever wondered what it's like to drizzle into nature's sweet embrace? You get me, right? Nope, not at all. All right, weirdo, let's hear the rest at the station. Damn, looks like my luck's run dry. Thanks for being so cooperative. Here's a little something for helping out our investigation. If you see any other suspicious individuals, you contact me immediately. Got it? And you, get a move on. Whew, well, that's over. Uh, to be honest, I kinda have to take a leak too. No, better just find a restroom. Hey. Ano? Hmm? 
Sure thing. Arigato gozaimasu. No. You ever thought about getting rid of all this trash? Yeah, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late. And she passed on. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place, like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. <sighs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... 
I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her. <laughs> I get how you feel, and I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Huh? I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh! Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. I'm good. いらっしゃいませ。
Arsenal. Bring it on. Yeah. Check this out. Come on now. Okay. Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. You see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric lines. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Do you know who they are? Wait, I've heard about this. Shit. It's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ejin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm-hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, it seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Gomicho with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ejin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Okay, well... Do you know anyone in the Komi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ejin Three, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut, I mean. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. 
What? You got a screw loose, lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... don't? You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, now this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Casca, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. <sighs> you be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <laughs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine, I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? Good, so it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? Setup is creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. Why do they need so much electricity anyway? I have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted? Dude, we're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably, he said. Well, I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komijo are. Hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar. Not for one power cable. So, you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They know that for damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. The Komichul must have believed that too. 
I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what'll happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe they'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn. She has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear, I saw... Whoa! <laughs> You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? will send you! Hey! Hey, wait! Leave me the fuck alone! Why'd you attack us? I was hired to! Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar! Were they Korean Mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know! I'd never seen them before! They just came up to me in the park! I, I was drinking and minding my own business, but hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill! And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money! The battle is on! Yeah! Check this out! What's your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. Matsuo, right? <laughs> What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trash in a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? <laughs> yeah? Makes you say that. They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. <laughs> if you really want to know, ask the bitch. Bitch. Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was smiling. Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Komi Jewel. No way. He was a member. Shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. You think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. Hey, look. <laughs> uh, 
Run! We're sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Okay. It's all or nothing. One of your own, which is the clueless bum. But you have him back now. Then why not let us go? Then you won't have our bodies to dispose of. What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass. Would you stop? By the way, you know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck. If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway. So you need to give it up. You're the one who needs to give up. Look, you guys are real-ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small-time shit like stealing electricity! So cut it out! Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. Are you satisfied? What? No way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Hold on. What's up? Listen up. Sup? I don't think so. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Hey. Oh, you're here. Morning, ma'am. Hey, get up. We're closing for a few hours. Sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. It's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Jiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. <sighs> you want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. all the ragged. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! 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 Prostit
Constitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eating Cho! Yeah! What's Bleach Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zone's White. You know how some things fall into the gray area? Neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor, but they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant, but you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea, you pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is, a brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Now oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors! You ass! You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents, some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Not bad, Ichiban.
Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sup? Hmm? True. <laughs> oh yeah? Yo. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Oi. Hold on. Hey. Soka.
Watch this. Let's have Go. fun with this. An old guy be so strong. Uh, whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa. You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Bunch of dreamers. They really think they can bleach the gray zones? Come on. <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose. But all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bully. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. Two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple bums living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Ah, <laughs> wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to bother. You got it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Look, Ichiban. A roof. 
A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man, it's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, <sighs> and a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? And then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Life is work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh... Oh... <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But... If the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers! Cheers.
Uh, please! Let me go! I swear! I'll tear that fucking bar down! Look! I know I messed up! I, I don't even want the money anymore! J just give me another chance! Uh, 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 how about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way! I already know how to do it! Uh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? Wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Chugona. <laughs> <laughs>